Hi, I'm Bernard Smalls. Welcome to Insight. Insight means sight within. It means knowledge within, which we call revelation, insight, revelation, knowledge. See, it's so important that you learn to live intuitively, and intuit has to do with living from the inside out. So we teach practical insights to help you to live a victorious and a successful life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Father, we believe you for your anointing on your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, I want to start a new series of study on the law of I am. We are talking about the law of I am. I am is the power that shapes your life. I am is the power that creates your destiny. I am sets the landmarks in your life because whatever you say after I am is created, is formed, is shaped in your life. You could say your life is your I am. Now we're going to go into explaining why I am is so powerful. Of course, you know that I teach a lot on affirmations and I am affirmations are a very important part of life. But in this series, we want to dig deeper into the law and gain some understanding. So thank you so much for joining us. Exodus 3, 14 says this, And God said unto Moses, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shall you say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. So what are you going to say to Israel? I am has sent me unto you. So I want to welcome you to the journey of I am. This is an exciting journey, and you're going to explore and discover new territories. But the message is really, really simple. I want you to get the basis of it. Whatever you affix to the words I am and believe, you become. Now, I say often, whatever you say after I am is created in your life, and that is true. But it's what you believe. See, Jesus says, when you believe you have received, you shall have. If you believe the mountain you speak to will move, it shall be removed. So faith is important here. And whatever you affix to I am, you become. Because the words I am are the two most powerful words you can ever utter. Say, I am happy. I am strong. I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am good, I am a loving individual, I am faithful, I am truthful, I am beautiful, I am wonderful, I am great. <laughs> okay, you said, come on, Bernard, you're overkilling. Well, notice that all of the words we use are positive. So in this series, we're simply getting you to activate the law of I am. I am is spiritual law. Let's continue our study of the law of I am. And we are talking about the power of I am and the fact that I am is the power that shapes your life. In Exodus 3, 14, we saw where God said, my name is I am. Now, why did God say my name is I am? Because God is. Again, why did God say my name is I am? Because God is. God is. God is the great I am. God is I am. Why? Because God is existence. Do you believe in God? I said, do you believe in God? Well, he that comes to God must believe that he is, must believe I am, because God is existence. And this is why God said, my name is I am. Now, the powerful thing about I am is it will affect you spiritually. It will affect you emotionally. It will affect you psychologically, physically, financially, because whatever you say after I am, you create in your life because God is I am. God is I am. God is life. God is awareness. God is pure being. God is the only cause and giver of life because God is existence. 
Now, God is I am, and he is the only real power in the world. See, the power to create in this planet is in the word are the words of an individual, the words of humanity. And when we speak things, we bring them to pass. I'm persuaded that even things concerning the weather and other things, you get enough people saying, I am going to lose my house in a tornado. I am going to lose my house. You bet, I bet, sir, as soon as they cancel that hurricane insurance, I will experience a flood. You know, well, see, you're releasing words to release forces to bring things to pass because I am is the only real power in the planet. Now, the thing about I am is every other power is counterfeit. I am is the real power. What do you mean, Bernard? You can use I am positively or you can use I am negatively. And the most powerful insight, the most powerful thing you will ever learn is to use your I am positively. God said unto Moses, I am that I am. When you declare I am, you are declaring yourself to be first person, present tense, now, not in the future. Now, scripture says now faith is. Now, we're going to explain that some to you, but now faith is goes with I am. God said unto Moses, my name is I am. When you say I am, you are invoking the name of God. Furthermore, whatever you say after I am, you create in your life. All right. Like, for instance, if you say, I am happiness, what do you think you're going to have in your life? You're going to have happiness. I am wellness. What are you going to have? You're going to have wellness and health. I am strong. This is why scripture says, let the weak say, I am strong. See, when you say, I am You're hooking up with God. You're engaging with God. I am that I am. I am are the two most powerful words you can ever utter because whatever you say after I am, you shape in your life. Do you know that God is the great I am? In fact, I like to call him the great I am. Think of that. Now, why don't you just call him God? Because God is not God's name. Okay, let me illustrate it simply. My name is Bernard. I am Bernard Smalls. But I am also a father. But father is not my name. Father is a title. Okay, so you can say, how many kids do you have? I'll say four. Put up four fingers here. (laughs) Okay, you got four kids. So that means you're a father. Yes, I'm a father. So your name is father. No, my name is not father. See, many of you are calling God Father Gord when really he is I am. I am is more intimate. I am is the name of God. Exodus 20 verse 2. Are you enjoying this? Scripture says, I am the Lord thy God. Notice, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the house of Egypt out of the house of bondage. I am the Lord thy God literally means I am is the Lord your God. Now, why is I am, I am is, why is I am the Lord your God? Okay, so we said I am is the Lord your God. Why is I am the Lord your God? Because in Exodus 20, verse 2, he says, I am the Lord your God. But it literally means I am is the Lord your God. Cheers. Well, first of all, I am is God. We've already established that. Exodus three fourteen. I am that I am. That is my name. I am is God. But even more literally, I am lords it over your life. Your I am lords it over your life. What do you mean? Whenever you say the words I am, what do you say afterwards? Well, I say I am poor. Well, okay, poverty will lord it over your life. I say I am broke. Well, poverty will rule and brokenness will rule. I say I'm so poor I can't pay attention. (laughs) Well, 
can't pay attention will lord it over your life along with poverty. Because I am lords it over your entire life because whatever you say after I am is formed and shaped in your life. Now, here's why. I am is the God within you. I am is the God nature within you. This is something I've been endeavoring to get across. We've been teaching on affirmations, but now we're digging deeper into the nature of God. You always eventually manifest that which you are aware of being. And I am is your awareness of being. Say after me, I am aware. Come on, say it again. I am aware. When you are aware of the God nature within, you will manifest more of the characteristics of God without. Now, this is where the church has greatly failed. The traditional church, we have believed that, um, for instance, you listen to a preacher. He preaches about a God in heaven, far away, uh, 50 billion uh, light years away. That's so far away that you need a rocket to get to him. Okay, a little humor there, very little, I know. But or he preaches about a God that's so powerful that lived in the past, that was in the Sinai desert, and that fed the people with the manna and all that. Or even the God Jesus when he was on the planet. Well, what's wrong with that picture? All of that is an external God that's far away. I am is an internal God that's near you because in him we live and move and have our being. And he lives and moves and has his being in us. Scripture teaches that the power that created the entire universe is not without, but within. 1 John 4, 4 says, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. So now, instead of a God far away, we're talking about a God that is near, because the word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. And God is near you, even in your mouth, through the power of I am. The words I am are the two most powerful words you can ever utter because whatever you say after I am is shaped in your life. Say, I am strong. Come on, say it again. I am strong. Say it once more. I am strong. You create strength by saying I am. All right, let's dig into some understanding of the name of God. The name of God, the name I am is actually the name Jehovah. Jehovah means I am the one who is. When he says Jehovah Rapha, he's saying I am the one who is your healer, your physician. Jehovah Jireh, I am the one who is your provider. Jehovah Rohi, I am the one who is your shepherd. Jehovah Nisi, I am the one who is your banner or your victory. Whatever God says after I am, is our reality because I am is Jehovah. And Jehovah means, well, in its basic meaning, the self-existent one, or again, I like I am the one who is. The name God, the Hebrew represents God's name in four letters, which are Y-H-W-H, yod He vav He. Now, the interesting thing is that Y-H-W-H also represents the name pronounced Adonai, which means all that ever is. So the question is, what is God's name? According to Torah, according to Jewish tradition, four Hebrew letters, four Hebrew letters, yad He vav He, represent the proper name of God. And many of us have lost the name of God in the transition, all right? Some of it was lost because history teaches that the Jewish people, the Israelite nation got to the place that they wouldn't allow people to say the name of God because they said it was unutterable. The interesting thing, if you study it, it was unutterable because of the letter. You couldn't say those four letters at the same time. It was humanly humanly impossible. And I believe that that is by design. 
that the letters were unutterable. Now, some people say God's name is so holy, he didn't even want you to say it. No, God is God, and we're dealing with a, a, a powerful being. Actually, they say yad He vav He, the four letters, is best expressed with a human breath. How do you say God's name? You breathe, all right? Because God is the God of life. Now, God's name, I am that I am, means this, Jehovah. It also means yad He vav He. It means Adonai, and it means this is, was, will be, is, was, will be. It is said that in the Hebrew, there is no such word as is, but we use that word in English. We say, you must believe that he is. It all comes down to this. You must believe in I am. I am that I am. So God's name, God's name is the self-existent I am. I, I like I am the one who is. I like the name Jehovah. Now, of course, we're translating these names to English. But what does all of this mean to you? Well, it means that in life, when you're facing circumstances, when you're facing challenges, when you're facing the Egyptians, are you facing any Egyptians today? You can say, I am has sent me unto thee. I am. I am the one who is. I am Jehovah. I am. I like the, the names of God, the compound names where it says, I am Jehovah Sid Kenu. That means I am the one who is your righteousness. I am your peace. I am Jehovah Shalom. I am the one who is your peace. I am present. I am Jehovah Shema. I am the one who is ever present. Yes, I am is the name of God. So when we teach you to do I am affirmations, realize there's power in I am. We are discussing the law of I am, and the way we can best serve you is to teach you. I have put together a book on I am affirmations to create wealth, and I believe it's the most complete book I've ever done on the topic of I am. I have another, I am a minority millionaire. And if you're a minority, you might get that one. And I believe that will change your financial world. Now, I deal with the spiritual and the metaphysical. A lot of people say, metaphysical, that's a cult. No, it's not a cult, it's a science. Meta means beyond, physica, the physical. Metaphysical is going beyond the physical. Well, faith is a metaphysical concept. Now, again, we're talking about the science. That's like saying, um, well, uh, quantum physics is a religion. It's not a religion. Quantum physics is a science. Even Einstein said, this is not religion. This is science. So what we're teaching you here is to scientifically use the words I am to create the life that God meant for you to live. See, God is the one that is, and God is spiritual law. But you must put the spiritual law in your mouth. The word must be in your heart, must be in your mouth, and you must speak it out because you are the operant power. And that's why I said we can best serve you with the materials like this book. And you can get it at Amazon.com. I am Affirmations to Create Wealth by Bernard Smalls. Now, there's a lot more in the book than just money talk because we really go into the laws of I am and how these things work. But I do want to lead you in a few I am affirmations from the workshop, which I have in the back of the book. Make these affirmations after me. Say this, I am open to receiving wealth. I am open to receiving wealth. Are you open? Come on, say this, I am attracting great wealth into my life. I am attracting great wealth into my life. Now say, I am a magnet for wealth. I am a magnet for wealth. Do you notice that each starts with I am? Now remember, I am the self-existent one, the name of God. I am the one who is. Now you've got all this power behind your affirmation. You're not just mouthing words. 
You're speaking the name of God and whatever you say after I am is formed in your life. Now say this, I am naturally drawn to wealth. I am naturally drawn to wealth. Now say this, I am surrounded by wealth and riches. I am surrounded by wealth and riches. Of course, in the short time we have, I can't go into everything that's in this book. So go ahead and get a copy of it on Amazon. And if you want to save a little money, go ahead and get the Kindle version. It's a lot less than the paperback version. But if you get the paperback version, maybe when you come to hear us in Atlanta here, you can bring your book and I'll sign it for you. Okay, I will. I am Bernard Smalls. Well, thank you so much, Father. Thank you for teaching us. Let your people use the keys to victory. The power is in your name. I am in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you that give, you that tithe, you that support our work. It's very important that you continue, that we continue. We're expanding our outreaches as quickly as the Lord leads to reach more people and reaching other parts of the world in a mega, mega way. Prevailing word pavilion has grown to well over, I think it's 47,000 um, followers now, and it's exploded. And these are real people that love God and are hungry for the word. And you that support us, you help us to take the word. We're starting to reach out into poor nations and the places where people need help. And with all the calamity you see happening in the planet, folks, it's time to get strong. And I am, it's time to get strong in the word of God. And we endeavor to teach it in a practical and a wise way. So our website is center, C-E-N-T-R-E, for I am. Dot com center for I am. We appreciate it that as you give, it is given unto you good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned and enjoy this song and let this song from Aaron seal the words in your heart. And my prayer for you as always is may the great I am expand your life till your destiny is fulfilled. God bless you. Beautiful.
Father, I praise you for I am fearfully and I'm wonderfully made and that my soul praise you Father, I praise Fully, and I'm wonderfully made.